Welcome back to Tara's Never Seen. Hi everybody. I don't know if I said it in the last video, but Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday. We're back from taking a break. Uh, as much of a break as I could, uh, things went a little sideways for us. And of course, we got struck with some bad news, but that's that's another story for another day. Y'all just uh, send some good vibes my daughter's way. I'm not going to go into details about what happened, but we had a very big family emergency on Christmas Eve and it is ongoing and we don't know for how long on her, her dad's side of the family. So of course, sure, yeah. We're gonna end this year with even more on our plate and all the things that we had planned to get accomplished this week in our downtime totally have not <laughs> been accomplished. I'm exhausted, she's exhausted. We've had to do a lot of traveling back and forth from Atlanta to South Carolina, back and forth. Anyway, her dad is not well, so send some send some love and good vibes her way she she needs them so what we're gonna watch tonight i've never heard of it i'm not a huge fan of westerns i like zombies more than i do westerns and y'all know how i feel about zombies i'm not really a huge fan so i'll i'll just leave it at that you gotta expand your horizons babe you gotta gotta take in the old and the new and all the different stuff and this is one of my favorite films and i want you to watch it that's so, cool that's why we're here <laughs> that's cool i don't even know what it's called the cowboys the cowboys okay 1972 or one or something like that it's made in the 70s all right it says there's violent alcohol use foul language and sexual content it sure does but it's PG. All right. Well, that was PG in the 70s was a whole different ball game, baby. Uh, okay. uh, Bad News Bears is PG. Okay. Was it PG? Oh, hell no. Exactly. <laughs> it Absolutely was way not. over PG-13. It was probably an R-rated film right. nowadays. Right. But it was marketed to kids. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I loved it, too. You're going to love this. I would have been one of those kids that it was marketed to. Mm-hmm. So yeah, anything pre like 83, pay no attention to the rating they've given it because it's a nonsense. I, I mean, I was just reading what it said and noticed that it said PG. And I'm like... <laughs> With all that? <laughs> so drained. I'm going to try to muster up some energy here and get through this movie. Let's get started, okay? I'm going to put my ear hole muffs in and we're going to 3, 2, 1. What? Click smash. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Click smash the stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is right now. Like, I've spent that much time in a hospital. It's Thursday. Is it? Yes. Click smash all the stuff. Like button, subscribe button, notification bell. I'm sorry I'm wiped out, but we're going to have some fun with this, I hope. Here we go. Three, two, one. Air hole muffs going in, and Kevin's gonna press play. One of his favorite movies of ever. Three, two, one, play. John Wayne. That about blew my ears off. Look at that name. Roscoe Lee Brown. Fuck you, Bruce Dern. I know none of these names. These names mean nothing to You've me. you never heard of Slim Pickens? Nope. Are those wild Mustangs? I want one of those on the right. They might be Mustangs. I don't know. Could be. I just know them by colors. Mm. Breaking a horse, it's not an easy job. Well, you better watch out. He's bugging it oh. hard. If he stamps on you, that's it. Uh. Now he's going to get you. Oh, poor thing. Easy. Oh, damn. Yeah, if they don't want to be broke, they don't want to be broke. I know we're late, Mr. Anderson. You're two hours late. Work starts around here at 6 a.m. Everybody's lit out for the Ruby River. What for? Gold? At the Ruby? <clears throat> well, the fact is, Mr. Anderson, me and the boys kind of thought we'd like to take a ride up that way and have ourselves a little look-see. Got 1,500 head of steer to get to 
Bell Foosh before it snows on me. You hired on to move them. We'd like to help you out, Mr. Anderson. Like to help me out? There's only five of us left. Well, I'd bust it. Well, what do you expect? You work us like dogs night and day and Christmas, too. Pay every Saturday. We'll have a look around two, three weeks. If it don't work out, we'll get them other fellas and we'll be right back. Two or three weeks. Well, here's my word. Get the hell off my spread. Yeah, if you ain't here to work, then why, why even show up? He ain't got time for that. <sighs> my day, I'm in it. Stay with you on a handshake. It's a different day, Will. Not fun. Yeah. Maybe Henry. Henry Bigelow is 60 years old, Will. So am I. Is he trying to get fresh with her? That's his wife. Oh. Well, He's, then, yes. Yes, <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> well, if you can't get your cattle to market this year, put it off till next. What'll I do with this year's bills? Pay them next year. Hell, a lot of folks around here do. He's worried about his credit score. Oh my God, having to go to an outhouse. There's no air conditioning. I could not live there. There's no heat Did either. you ever think of hiring boys? How old was you when you went on your first cab drive? What difference does that make? How old was you, Will? Well, in my day... How old? Thirteen. But my old man's pants fit me. Hail to thee, Lith. Lith? Fly. Fly a spirit. Bird thou never wert. So bid. So bobbid. So bobbited huffy. So bid. So bid. So so bobbid huffy. Never be big enough to pull anything but silly old mail cars. So huffy. So bed. So bobbid huff. So bobbid huffy. He looks like my grandpa. Yeah? Yeah. Can't move heaven and earth. Good morning, boys. Any of you ever been on a cattle drive? That's a no. Any of you ever herded cattle? That's also a no. Well, what can you do? Uh, we can all ride. Most of us can rope. Some of us are pretty good shots. Well, that's Better than nothing. Cow's nothing but a lot of trouble. Is he gonna at some point say, ah, oh, frickin' frackin' rickin' frackin' frickin' frackin' frickin' Oh, I hate that varmint. She's not gonna like that. Who's first? Well, I'll try and saddle her while you're making up your mind. Oh, girl. That's little Robert Carradine. Mm-hmm. Is he biting the horse's ear? Keep it calm. Oh, eight seconds. Come on. Let's do it. If he gets thrown, it's bad. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey! My name's Honeycut. I'm 15, and everybody calls me Slim. I'm next. Keep your mind in the middle. That's scary as fuck. Huh? Bail off, youngster! Bail off! Yeah, if that horse lands on that kid, it's crushed. My name's Homer Weems, Mr. Anderson, and I hope I ain't rode all the rough off of her. They call me fat. Then enjoyed the gut myself. Ooh, God damn. My name is. Today, 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 Junior. He can't even read. He gets excited. You're mean. <laughs> The kid actually has a stutter. Does he really? Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> that's what. My the bad. Other kid, I thought he the was other acting. The kid introduced him. He's like, he gets excited. I thought he was acting. He is, but. <laughs> All right, who's next? I am. Who are you, fancy pants? <laughs> That kid's done that before. Come on. Here, boy. I think you can handle her now. Keep it. <laughs> oh, take him out. Uh-uh. All right, break it up. Break it up. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> that was a pretty good ride you made, but I'll have to think you over. Mm-hmm. 
because he got an attitude. Were those his kids? Yeah. So that everyone can see the lower lines. Excuse me. Now, uh, there, that's much better. I'd like to talk to these boys before class breaks up, if you don't mind. Do you wish to address the young ladies as well? No. No, I don't think so. Then we bow to the fact that it's a man's world and leave you to it. What if they weren't done copying down the assignments? I don't expect to get to Belfouche with one single head of beef, but I'm cornered, so I'm taking you on. Now, this is the way it's going to be. I'm a man and you're boys. Not cowmen, not by a damn sight. Nothing but cowboys, just like the word says. Okay. And I'm going to remind you of it every single minute of every day and night. I feel sure you will. This is the double O. This is Belfouche. In between is 400 miles of the meanest country in the West. You take orders. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 50 big silver dollars. If we make it to Belfouche. All of us? Anybody that tall? Oh, he's not tall enough. He can't ride that ride. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Is, he's young. Is his mama gonna let him go? <laughs> she ain't gonna have no way to call him, make sure he brushes teeth, all that kind of stuff. This kid's a punk. They must have rode all over the territory to get that many brand new hats. Oh, great. Already fighting. Next, one of you pulls a knife in this outfit. You're gonna learn better at the buckle end of my belt. Now, what happened? You. Probably homie over there was running his mouth to Slim. He said something about his mother. Yeah, oh, what, yep. He What'd said he your mama. To my dress. Oh. You understand? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, those are fighting words. He deserves to get his ass kicked. Clear out. Get on your horse and clear yeah, out. Yeah, I said go home. Ain't nobody asked you to come here anyway. There's plenty of road. Don't talk about my mama like that. Maybe you need to go home and let your mama whoop your ass. It cost me $30. Send me a bill. You're gonna get it, mister. That sounds like a you problem. All right, everybody pack an iron, unload it. Throw it over here in this buggy. And I mean anything that shoots. Every kid has a gun. And this kid might have the biggest one. <laughs> Good lord. You ever fire that thing? No, sir. Well, this hardware will be locked up in a chuck wagon. Aw, I want a baby cow. They're so cute. That's the cutest baby cow I've seen so far. Can I pet that cow? Look at it. That's a fresh one. Oh, it's so sweet. Sometimes the young one wins, sometimes the old. Young one's got more muscle. Old one's got more experience. That's the old one still standing there. Clearly. I'll hold him right there. Keep his head back. All right, take him out. Need some help? No, they're doing all right. Mr. Will Anderson? What can I do for you? What outfits have you worked with? Well, sir, we've worked for every big outfit in North Montana. You name them. No, you name them. Dillard Fan at the Santa Rosa. How long were you with Fant? Well, sir, the uh, last eight years. What a lovely old gentleman he is. I tell you, if we weren't three of the damnedest fools you ever saw, we'd be there with him right now. And if you were, you'd be in a pine box. I was Paul Bearer at his funeral five years ago. Well, I've been caught at it, haven't I? Mr. Anderson, I'm sorry. I lied to you. You see, we're fresh out of jail, the three of us, and I don't know, you just tell that to people, and they just turn a deaf ear on you. I'm afraid I can't use you. Can't use you lied. I won't use you. You lied. I don't hold jail against you, but I hate a liar. Same. Fuck you, Bruce Dern. Them little bitty boys down there? <laughs> Come on, you know better than that, Mr. Anderson. You know what you're gonna need. Why don't you take those giant teeth of yours and shove them up your ass? You are correct. Good luck to you, Mr. Anderson. While you're at it, find some lips. 
Well, Vinny's breaking them on the drive. Ah, uh, they were living wild during the winter. May I have some more, please? Sure. We haven't even eaten that yet. Greedy littles. You eat that much at home? We've been b branding c cattle all day. Can't be that hungry. They're showing off. Name's Nightlinger. Jebediah Nightlinger. I was expecting a white man. Jim Wheeler, what happened to him? Well, he got drunk on Sunday and married on Monday. I came in his stead. Green apple sliced thin. Lard, flour, salt, water to bind, sugar, cinnamon, dab of butter, three slashes on the crust, one for steam, two because your mama did it that way. All right. Am I correct? Why, yes, indeed. Ms. Anderson. Ma'am, I'll fix up some sugar tits to take along. Sugar tits? What's that? I think it was a suckling on a titty joke. Uh. Because they're little boys. Gotcha. But a sugar tit sounds delicious. <laughs> Smells of boy in here. Well, sir, uh, you're the first nigger we ever saw. It must be a treat for you. Something different for a change. He's got good control for a little fella. I mean, I don't know, it scares me to death. It's so big and it's so powerful and it has this brain that's not your brain. So it'll do things that it wants to. And it won't converse with you first. Well, I mean, you're not scared of handling Bowie. It's I'm not gonna not, try and ride Bowie around. Not much <laughs> different. <laughs> it's just a little bit taller and I mean, bigger. I'll go up and pet a horse probably. I've done it once or twice, <laughs> but I don't think I'm getting on it. Oh, I'm not scared. Even like the saddest, dumbest, slowest looking dumb horse. Nope. <laughs> I just don't. It scares me. Something about it. I was probably killed by a horse in a past life. Trampled. Died on a cattle drive. Something. Oregon Trail. <laughs> you played too much Oregon Trail. <laughs> I got dysentery and was trampled. You clearly did not grow up on a farm. No. Like me. I knew what a Animals farm was. Everywhere. <laughs> That's what you would be walking like after riding a horse for hours. Yeah, it's, it's a full body workout. Yeah, I can't imagine. It's... It looks like it hurts. That youngster's been following all day. I know it. Who is he? A burr under my hide. Mm -hmm. You just gonna leave him out there? Yeah. Mr. Nightlinger, you take care of the kitchen, I'll take care of the drive. In the late war between the states, I served under an officer just like you. Is that right? As a matter of fact, I shot that military gentleman in the buttocks. In the buttocks? Yes, sir, directly in the buttocks. In the buttocks, sir. They gave me a medal. <laughs> they gave one to Forrest, too. <laughs> I was known as Old Iron Pants. You might keep that in mind. God, get up! Let the sun catch us sleeping. All right, but how you bake Dude, some biscuits? Dude, bacon and biscuits. You need an oven. How'd well, you bake? Well, forget. We're burning daylight. That one's gorgeous. Uh-oh, he can't swim? That kid's way too small to be on that horse. <laughs> He's like four foot tall. It's like mini-me on the horse. Uh-oh. <laughs> His horse senses that he's nervous and his horse is freaking out. Oh shit. Move your gear into camp. I won't charge you for the days I've been following you. You're hired on just like the rest. It ain't my fault I stutter. Listen to me, you whining little whelp. You're gonna stop it or go home, do you hear me? Son of a bitch. See, there you go. What did you say? You goddamn son of a bitch. Say that again. Bitch. Say it faster. You goddamn me, dirty son of a bitch. See, told you. I wouldn't make it a habit calling me that, son. But you got rid of the stutter. I did it. Did you hear me? I did it. And there was a hooch coot show going on. A hooch coot show. Uh-huh. Woohoo! First thing I know, she dropped a dress and she was naked. All over? All over. From head to toe. What'd she look like? Well, she had a belly button so big you could have stuck your middle finger in it. That might not have been her belly button. <laughs> I saw my first one in Venvo, too. Fifty years ago. Probably the same girl. Dan, if you ain't almost human today. 
he's been at the bottle. You mean there's bug juice in this can? Hell yes, I seen him and Mr. Nightlinger swallow it down last night. If she's in a drawer in the chuck wagon. Which drawer? Ah. <laughs> oh. Weedy, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Wasting time. Gambling's a sin. This ain't oh, gambling, it's stealing. Come on. Oh, he lost. Oh, <laughs> Act casual. Mm -hmm. Innocence is wasted on me. I don't believe in it. What are you up to? Nothing, Mr. Nightlinger. <laughs> Nothing at all. Boy's always guilty of something nasty. Yep. What could it be this time, I wonder? You're not good at lying. Nothing. I swear. If you're lying, remember one thing. I could swallow each of you whole without choking. All I need to do is butter your heads and pin your ears back. He walked eight feet that way. Go for it. Yeah, he's going to poop. He's about to get busted. I got it. Oh, they're going for a world of hurt. What is this? They're hammered. You keep taking long swigs like that, you're gonna miss your turn next time. Hey, there's two of everybody. <gasps> hey, hey, it's two moons. <laughs> I'm going to bed as soon as I can stand up. Just don't wake up all iron nuts. You might not be standing up. <laughs> I've decided. What? I've decided if all iron nuts tells me I'm burning daylight just one more time, I'm gonna let him have it. Oh, are you now? <laughs> What's it? Yeah. I ain't decided yet. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how you feel about about that in the morning when you're all hung over. <laughs> Mr. Nightlinger. <laughs> that black son of a bitch cooks better than my mom. <laughs> they were that close. Mm-hmm. Old iron nuts. Shall we join them, Mr. Nightlinger? <laughs> what else is there to do out here? When did you take your first drink? Oh, it was on the occasion of my first broken heart, and my last. She was an older woman and wise. Oh, you had yourself a cougar? Vastly experienced. I've been drinking sour mash ever since. Yeah. I was 17. She was almost 22. Oh, that wasn't no cougar. We're in a hurry to grow up. Well, they won't get it out of a bottle. I'll know that in the morning. Yep. <laughs> All down sick at once. Hmm. Oh, man. Where's the past the bad water hole? Well, there's a cell again. Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. Nylinger, I'd like some beans and cabbage for supper with a big chunk of fat back in some red pepper sauce. Oh, that sounds delicious. And make some gravy out of the grease. Yes. I'll be back. <laughs> We're burning daylight. Think you're going. Go get him, Dan. That's why you got a rope. but a small child. Look what I found. Uh-oh. You look at me like I had two heads. <laughs> You're wondering where I came from, ain't you? Prison. I can't hear you, son. I can't hear you, son. You're a quiet boy. <laughs> I like quiet boys. I'm gonna let you loose because you ain't running back to Mr. Will Anderson with them eyes rolling back in your head, telling him that there's these real bad men that been following us day and night. You think you're gonna raise a big commotion? That's not gonna do you any good, son. You know why? Huh? Are you listening to me, careful boy? You know why? Because I'm gonna come to you some night when it's real dark. I'm gonna come to you on tiptoe. And I'm gonna come to you the night. Ah! Ah! Ow! I'm gonna cut you a grin down here on your neck. It's gonna run clear across. Ah. I'd be like, no, because I can't take you seriously with those big teeth in my face. He doesn't want to stand his watch. He's scared. Will he break something? To tell you the truth, I think he's afraid of the dark. Me too. Huh. What ails you, boy? Nothing. You nighthawked last night. Yes, sir. Everything went smooth. Yes, sir. Well, if you don't stand your watch, somebody goes short of sleep. Carry your weight, boy. What the hell's the matter with you? Your house is your house, and my house is my house. Word. Mr. Nightlinger, you better start being real careful. Joey doesn't share food. Joey doesn't share food! How does it feel to be scared? You think I was too rough on the boy? Is that it? Yeah. 
That's it. Well, I can't say I always decide right. In that case, cut yourself a piece of pie. You look funny from up here. My glasses! Uh-oh. That's gonna spook I'll get them for you. Careful, Charlie. Come on, boy. Come on. Be real careful, Charlie. Is it supposed to be nighttime? Like, it's very blue out there. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It's probably a full moon. It's real lit up. I found him! Come on up. Something's about to happen. He's about to get stampeded because he spooked him. Easy, Charlie. Don't spook him. Too late. Oh, it's like a cow mush pit. Run me! Oh, he got thrown. Now he's going to get trampled. Charlie! Oh, well, that's sad. And he can't even, like, take him back to his family. Just bury him where he's at. Sometimes it's hard to understand. Drift to things. This was a good boy. He'd have been a good man. Didn't get his chance. Death can come for you any place, any time. Oh, yeah. It's never welcome, but if you've done all you can do, and it's your best. There's a lot of that going around this week. In a way, I guess you're ready for him. Sure. Is everybody gonna die from dysentery on the Oregon Trail here? Tell Mr. Nightlinger he's in charge. Why don't put me in charge? Big mouth don't make a big man. That's right. <laughs> oh. Them ladies ain't got their dresses on. No, they ain't. Mm -hmm. They sure are pretty. Wonder who they are. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm sure you want to go find out. Better what's go going find on. out. Yeah. Better go investigate the situation. Yeah, they gotta investigate. See what's up. They're gonna be like, how you doing? Yeah? Y'all better be careful. They might try to make men out of you. You wanna drive? Yes, ma'am. We're going to Belfouche. That's Mr. Anderson. He's over at uh, Fort Smith. All right, then. What's your name? They call me Cimarron. Mm. I'm Kate to my friend. And who's the one with the pretty pink blush? Now, this here's Homer. She's got more of a manly voice than that one Cimarron kid does. If we're going by what we can do, there's 11 of us. Mm-hmm. In this kind of country, a poor, helpless woman likes to know if there are any men around. Men who can take care of us as we go along our way. Yeah. Well, we're getting paid a man's wages. Did you want me for anything, Mrs. Collingwood? That's Phoebe. Phoebe, is it now? Of course it is. She's blonde. Wouldn't you like to come inside, honey? Uh, huh, huh, huh. You'd be surprised how nice we got everything fixed up. Is that Terry Gar? <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, Homer just saved himself a dog. <laughs> that leaves you. Well, you excuse me for saying so, ma'am. You're old enough to be my mama. Well, if I were, I'd teach you something. Mm -hmm. I bet she would. Like what? Like manners, for a start. Gotta keep your mouth shut. Morning, ma'am. She's gonna be like a man. A man! <laughs> Did you see that the boys return to work while I chat with this lady? Ma'am. That boy gets all butt hurt so easy. Little punk. It's a question of uh, waiting for a more appropriate time in their lives. Perhaps it'd be wiser to wait until next year. Or even the year after. Basically keep your hooers and sleuths away from these boys. You're a charming and sensible lady. What about you? Do you need service in, is what she's asking? Well, I have the ink. I don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You about to lose a wheel. Oh, there it goes. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Big Teeth Bobby and his crew. Look at those mountains, though. I bet it's gorgeous up there. As soon as it's dark, they'll be coming in. They're after the herd. I don't know who they are or how rough they'll get. But right now, they think we're one man and a bunch of kids. And that's what we're going to let them think. I know you're more than that. A lot more. But this is no time to try and prove it. What's the matter with you? I should have told you. Told me what? They've been following us for a long time. They said they'd kill me. Yes. The man with the long hair who came looking for work. Ah, oh, don't worry, Dan. It's not your fault. Now get out there and give him a hand getting that firewood. Hello there! Remember what I told you. 
If it ain't Mr. Will Anderson of the Double O. We knew that it was going to take you a long time herding little boys and cows. Winter's coming on, old friend. We got to get these cattle to Belfouche. How far would you say it is? I didn't say. If you was to say. Four or five days. Two or three is more like it. I remember you had a chuck wagon and a nigger. They're behind us. I sent a boy back to find out what was holding him up. Well, I know the boy. Bring him on in here. I don't suppose you mean this stalwart young man here, do you? Are you all right, boy? Yes, sir. Mr. Anderson, do I look like the kind of man to you that would beat on an innocent boy? Yeah. You look like the vermin-ridden son of a bitch you are. With big teeth. And the rest of you boys sit down right now. <laughs> now, old friend, I'll have the gun. That's right. I'll also have the belt, because you ain't going to need it. That's good. Now, uh, pick it up and bring it over to me. Bend over, pick up the belt, and bring it right here to me, now! You are not the boss of him. I'd be like, quit looking at me like I'm crazy. Pride. Stubborn pride. I admire that. That truly is an admirable quality. Tell you the truth, uh, I wouldn't have picked it up either. How much would you say that them cattle are worth a piece? Maybe $17 a head. That's it? I mean, that was a lot of money back then, but still. And there's 1,500 of them. Ready to be rich. Answer him. Yes, sir. Me. You don't listen to him anymore. You've got to look to me now. You understand that? How old are you? I just turned 13. You know, by the time I was your age, I'd already killed a man. You done anything like that? No, sir. You the run of your family, ain't you? Yes, sir. You had some glasses. Where are they? There's some, there's no glass in there. You must have broken them, huh? Duh. And all them carpetbaggers calling me mister. I'd like them back when you're through. They've been in my family for a long time. All right. We've seen what you can do with a boy. How are you when they come a little bigger? You mean you? Yeah, why don't you tell your boys to just sit this one out? You love to make it happen, don't you? Are you having any of it? Thirty years older than you are. Had my back broke once, hip twice. And on my worst day, I could beat the hell out of you. I don't think so. You will. Get away from him! Get away from him! Don't you kick him when he's down. Get him right in the balls. Pick up a rock and beat him in the head with it. Stomp on him. Better yet, find a big rock, make him bite it, and stomp on the back of his head. Do that a few more times. There you go. There you go. One more time. Again. Again. Oh. And while he's down there, go and kick him right in the nuts. Just punt him right into outer space. Los locos kick your ass. Los locos kick your face. Los locos kick your balls into outer space. Oh, now, now you're being a pussy. You miserable wretch. You can't fight this man with your bare hands. Mount up. Stop, you son of a bitch. Go to hell. Exactly. Turn around, I want you to see this coming. I said stop. He's standing there like he's constipated. Or he's about to let out a real big fart. I mean, if he's trying to kill him, his aim sucks. I mean, he, if he aimed a bit better, he would have got him on the first shot, but because he sucks at shooting. He's a coward. Yeah. He shot him in the back. Yeah, absolutely. He's very much a coward. And I've hated him ever since this movie. We're leaving. He's a great actor, but I fucking hate him. What happened to you? Rustlers, Mr. Nightlinger. They've been following us since we started out. Why would they do this to him? Mr. Anderson put up a fight. Ain't there anything we can do for him? Yes, there is. You can be a man. Mr. Nightlinger, you're scaring the boys. Could you drink some whiskey? No. Is there anything? I want you to see that these boys all get home. Summer's over. Just about. I'm proud of you. All of you. Every man wants his children to be better than he was. You are. Now! What are you doing? We didn't want to do it this way, Mr. Nightlinger, but we knew you wouldn't give them to us. So we're going to get the herd back from Mr. Anderson and take it on to Belfouche. You're going to get yourselves killed. 
Probably. We're gonna finish the job. Way to go, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> they were hired to do a job and they're gonna fucking finish that job. Better have a plan. Turn me loose and we'll make one. Cut him loose. Dung heap. I'm gonna bring that one back and start calling people dung heap. <laughs> One down, about 15 more to go. Yeah, because that disguise always works. <laughs> oh, good job. Got him. Yep, twist it. Quit making your face like that. You don't look anything like him. Hey, you! Oh. <gasps> that was a good plan. So far, three for three. Yep. His nose is all broken. I fucking love it. Mm-hmm. Come on in! What the hell is the matter with them? Uh, six, seven. You got seven more. There's more than seven now. Where'd the rest of them come from? I'll tell you what I've always wanted to do is go down to uh, Cumberland Island. Is that where the horses are running? Yeah, around? the wild horses mm -hmm. in Georgia. You've been behind this all the time, ain't you, nigger? Not at first, but I came round to it. Get your head off when you talk to me, mister. You get your finger out of my face, Big Tooth Billy. Are you acting mighty calm considering what it is I got in store for you? You got one minute. Speak your piece. I regret having trifled with married women. I'm thoroughly ashamed of having cheated at cards. Mm. I deplore my occasional departures from the truth. Forgive me for taking your name in vain. My Saturday drunkenness, my Sunday sloth. Above all, forgive me for the men I have killed in anger and for those I am about to. Word. That's what's up. Uh -oh. Yep, get him. And now he's fucked. Mm -hmm. That gun is huge. <laughs> and the horse landed right on top yeah, of it. Yeah, how do they train horses to do shit like this is beyond me. I have been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 lately, which is another reason I wanted to watch this. It just makes me feel like a cowboy. I think my leg is broken. I think my leg is broken. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Don't let him get up. No, let him. Yeah, let him. Let him get up. Whatever hurting you got, you deserve it. I think my leg is broke. Okay. The other one is is hung I up. I believe you're going to you, find pumpkin. any sympathy amongst these boys. Mm -mm. Son, please cut me loose. No. I ain't your son. Make it worth your while. I promise. Wait. Oh, oh thank you. Ow! There you go. Don't worry. Don't. Nice. Stop it! Karma. Ugh. Love it. Yes. Make sure to knock out all those teeth while you're at it. They are now men. Well, maybe not that one. <laughs> that one definitely. That one definitely. Will. Oh, Anderson. they're getting a headstone made to take back. Anything else? Well, then I carve. Beloved husband and father. You ain't never gonna find it now. Come on in! Well, come on, we're burning daylight. Oh. Hooray! You have now seen the Cowboys. I sure have. You really loved it. I mean, it's all right. It was all right. It reminded me of why I'm not a fan of Westerns. For me, they move too slow. Old ones definitely do. They move. Modern westerns are much more actiony. I mean, yeah. What's the and this was much Desperado? More... Yeah, that was great. Yeah, you've uh, seen like Young Guns. You've seen right. That, you know? Those are great, but like, yeah, these older older westerns really like the kind that my grandparents would watch, and that's what this is. Yeah, it they just move way too slow for me. 
and it's a different pace definitely definitely had to force myself to stay awake and keep my eyes from closing i am also extremely exhausted from the last few days and trying to rest up because i gotta go go back here for the weekend um this to me is less of a western and more of like a coming of age film for kids it back then but like set back then you know what i mean like how to be a man and how to grow up and how to I don't know. Sure, I can see that. And it's one I watched a lot as a kid, so I... I can see, you know, this being something boys would have watched with their grandpa. And that, like you did. I can I can see that being a thing. And, and how I they guess, all come together and, like, avenge him. And I guess it's like me with my grandmother watching, like, Lucy and Desi, the long, long trailer. You know, things like that. Or a Breakfast movie. at Tiffany's and... You the know, long, the long more, trailer is a great movie. The long, long trailer is fantastic. Yeah, I uh, that's one of my uh, mama mama's favorites that I can remember watching with her. And uh, Houseboat, Sophia Loren, Houseboat. That was another one. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Pillow Talk, ones like that. You know, Elvis movies. We watched a lot of Elvis movies His together. Movies are terrible. They are, well... There's like one or two that are decent, and the rest of them are just... Watch Blue Hawaii's the best. My favorite one is Jailhouse Rock. That's a great one. Yeah. Those are the specific ones I can remember watching with my grandparents. So, it... Well, this it, one was mainly it, for me to sit and watch. It, it. It's... <laughs> I like the... I mean, I liked it. I like this movie, but it's just... Movies like this just... Two, they make me sleepy. They do. They make me sleepy. All right, guys. You guys have a great weekend. No and more westerns on the channel. We're, we're fine. We won't. We won't force her to watch any more westerns. It just, you know, if it's a newer one, like with more action, like Desperado. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>